Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on saving and loading of the skill tree. Now here let me do some activities. Here now I have two skill points. Now let's go to the skill tree. Here you can see now I can activate the first health uh, upgrade. So pay attention to the health bar length. Let me go back and here activate the first scale uh, health upgrade now you see health by its uh, length is increased a little bit and now let's go again and activate the second scale for the health upgrade now health by its uh, length is increased a little bit even more now let me press home button and quick save character saved here you see character saved now if I stop the game and play again now it takes like four seconds to load the game now you see here health by is already increased and all the weapons are restored if I go back to the skill tree this two is already green because the state of the health uh, skill tree is restored loaded from the save file all right now that's what we are going to work on today saving and loading of skill tree and as always before we get started here let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects from my patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without any limits so feel free to check it out actually it's just not this project there are over 2000 videos in my channel and for each video project files are available and also here is the full playlist of this uh, action rpg with gameplay ability system series feel free to check it out everything is shared here you can watch and implement from scratch by yourself by following this um, tutorial so I'll leave the link in description below and now let's get back to the today's tutorial okay so as of now day one load is not working for the skill tree and that's what I want to work on now so to show why that happens let me open my character I think in the base character I implemented save system save yeah. save character data right now here um, from the ability system I get a list of all the abilities that is applied to the character and i add it to this granted abilities uh, array and then i have this save game object which has a variable called abilities so actually and let me show so this will contain all the abilities so the saving is actually working what is not working is loading the skill tree so there is nothing wrong with the save part now let me search load character data now if i go here this is where the loading happens from the save slot i read it if we don't have a save slot i just give the default abilities but if we do have a save slot we load it and cast SV character, which is this blueprint type. And from this, I get all the abilities. And if the abilities can be casted into GA collect sword class. So the, the reason that I do this is all the collectible items are derived from GA collect sword class. If that is the case, I add this to character inventory and then i give this ability which is a collectible 
ability to the character and activate it so all the weapons that the character already had when we save will be again applied to the character when we load it so that's correct but if it is not a collectible item then i just give that ability but i don't activate it and that's exactly what happens here so the problem is now when i use an ability to upgrade the character through the skill tree that means here if i open the skill tree this health upgrade is granted through an ability that i have created if i go here upgrade this health upgrade one this is the gameplay ability that grants the health upgrade now it's not enough to just give that ability we need to activate that ability as well if we want to give the grant the health upgrade when we load character data so we're gonna have to check if that is uh, uh, some skill but these skills are also uh, and if there is a skill we need to simply uh, give that ability and also activate it but the problem is this uh, upgrade also derived from GACLM because of that I have no way of distinguishing skill abilities so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new ability that is also a child of GACLM and I'm gonna call it GA skill and I'm not going to do anything here just leave it as it is and then go to health upgrade plus class settings I'm gonna reparent this to skill GS skill compile this nothing sh I don't think we I will have to change anything here because that is also in the same hierarchy GA uh, skill is just a child of GA CLI okay and I will do the same for GA health upgrade too Uh, actually I don't have it because this is a child of health upgrade one so it's fine no need to do any change here and then here well this might look a bit uncleaner way to handle this but I don't see any other way to do this right now so yeah Maybe we should collapse this. Collapse this node. And the exit is not open. looks a bit clean then I'll do another cast to scale and here if it is false we should go here let me collapse this again apply scale So not yes. if this is a skill we need to uh, need to give the ability the system component give ability and give it once.
Okay, come back. I think it should work. So let's test. For testing, let me collect some skill points. Right. Now, initially, this is the level of health we have. And also, um, if I apply activated skills, now I have activated two health upgrades. And you can see this is increased, the length is increased this much. Now I press home button to save and stop the game and reload. Now I don't see the health is increased. And if I go to skill tree, it's still not working. So the reason that it is not working is because even if I try to activate the skill here, I just added a debug uh, print to see what's going on. It's not going to activate because it requires skill points. And at the beginning, we don't really have any skill points. So that's why. So another alternate approach that we might try would be uh, instead of activating the ability itself, here we can hit D4. And we can access gameplay effects. And what if we just directly apply the effects instead of in the ability itself so like this happened that's defaults applied gameplay effects run up for each loop get the reference here and try this and see what happens. Still, it didn't work. Well, actually, no, what I said is wrong. I thought I'm checking the number of skill points here, but we don't. So, why is it not activating? We only have this activation block tag, upgrades health 1, but this should not be there when we try to activate this ability. It turns out it works when there is a or second delay for the loading but I fail to understand right now why why do we need the four second delay but it is working see now here you see it increased and if I press K now still you don't see uh, still you see this as deactive because now let's see why is that I guess we are first checking if we have the required number of skill points but instead of that I think we should check if we have already activated it or not so here yeah. update skill list data first condition we check is valid class that's Right. The next condition we check is if we have enough, enough skill points. So then we check if we have the dependencies activated. So we are not checking at all if we already have activated this ability. So we should do that at the beginning. So to check that here, uh, I'll 
after this step kill gameplay ability we can split here uh, this we can get default defaults and here we have applied gameplay effects so listen for each loop here let's do this 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 and then for each gameplay uh, gameplay effect we have applied for the skill we can check uh, let's get system component check as any matching gameplay tags and from this also we can access grounded tags easy to check so here if we get false for any of these tags so that means this skill is not actually applied to the character so let's add a variable a local variable skill already right i'll make it by default true and then here if it is false i'll set skill already applied to false and when the slope is over let's have a branch and check if a skill is already applied if it is false we can go to the next step but if it is true that means uh, the skill is already applied so we can get skill button and mark as activated check this now yeah loaded now see this status is, status is restored that means this you can see in green these two skills are already activated okay great so our skill tree now saving and loading okay great so thanks for watching that's all i want to cover in this episode so let me know if you have any questions in the comments and see you in the next episode goodbye